hey guys welcome to my channel hope you're doing well so Taurus this reading will be for you if you have any Taurus placements or if you're dealing with a Taurus uh, before I start the reading thank you everybody who wished me happy birthday that was so sweet I really appreciate you all um, and for all the super chats and um, uh, cash ups you guys are so sweet thank you um, so I want to see what's going on for you guys um, over the next week okay um, what energy is being highlighted okay to help you work through anything that may be coming up okay so and I'll, I'll just see what comes up I like when I like when the readings go that way okay I don't want to really focus on anything in particular I just want to see what spirit wants us to know so all right Taurus I'll get I'll see if I'll get four, four or five from this deck the Queen of the Moon Oracle I'm using. Boundaries. Protection. Okay. Purity. I'm going to get five. Peace. <laughs> and attraction. You know what this is? Okay. The thing that screams to me is you know when you don't overgive yourself you know when you don't over worry stress when you keep yourself to yourself and you mind your business and you drink your water and you keep you look after yourself and you're not focusing on, on anything too much or I feel like right now this week don't over focus on like put your focus on too much even if it's like work okay I feel like there needs to be some kind of balance but I'm also getting this energy of you guys setting some boundaries with someone or something, even yourself, okay? You have to set boundaries with yourself first. We can set boundaries with other people, but we have to stick to it. If other, peop if other people don't, that's their business, but at least we know we put those boundaries in place, that person crossed it, okay. Even at work, okay? So I feel like it's not just relationships, it could be in regards to work, okay? How much you're putting in, okay? How much or how little, so, um, I feel like there's things that are changing, so you may need to, your, your schedule may change, okay? Protection, purity, peace, attraction. M makes me feel like some of you guys are manifesting something and also releasing something. Enjoying your own energy also. It feels like a very peaceful time, a very calm time. Reflect hermit energy. The hierophant energy okay so i feel like energetically it's not going to be anything too crazy happening this week i feel like it's more of a laid back energy with you guys okay and i feel like you guys will be attracting you will be attracting certain things that you are wanting i have to look at that number I keeps uh, there's quite a bit of fours in this okay so four 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 may be significant to some of you guys okay all right Let's see what Tarot's saying. What deck shall I use? I'll use this one. Okay. What could you tell me about Taurus, please? I just heard, I just heard, keep your nose out. Basically, keep your nose out of my business. Okay. So I'm not sure if you're telling that to somebody, if someone said that to you, or if you're feeling like, don't worry what I'm doing. Don't worry. Don't don't sit. Don't watch my money. Don't watch my my time. Don't watch how I spend my money. Keep your nose out. So some of you guys are kind of yeah. Okay, it could be in regards to the boundaries. It could be in regards to the boundaries. Somebody may be asking, you know, oh Taurus, how much do you earn or how much do you spend? And you're like, why do you need to know that? Or who was you with? Um, you know, or you know, I'm sure I heard someone in the background and you're like on the phone or something. So I feel like. It's kind of like, you don't need to know. It's that kind of energy. You don't need to know. <laughs> I'm hearing like, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Like, as in, I'm going to tell you once and once only. Okay? I feel like I don't know what it is exactly that you are, like, why you'll be in that way this week. But it's kind of like you just want to be left alone in regards to certain areas of your life. Okay. The world.
the Prince of Wands, which is the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Swords. Has it come out like that, Taurus? I'll get one more. The Ace of Cups. Some of you guys ain't gonna look. I, some of you guys are gonna be happy about this. Some of you guys are gonna be like, ugh. So watch how this week plays out, yeah, Taurus. Somebody who you feel almost certain that you completed a cycle with, they could be coming back. Do I want to say this? I have to say it because some of you, you guys know what the meaning is. I'm going to say it. Let me not. But somebody from your past could, who who stressed you out, who who you probably had endless nights over, could be coming back to offer you love. Now, bearing in mind, it is Pisces season, okay? Pisces, uh, Pisces are very lovey-dovey, very emotional, very, you know, that's the cups, right? I'm a Pisces. Some of you guys see me sometimes, you know, I get emotional and stuff. Not all the time. My Taurus mean balances me, but... There could be somebody coming back. It could be a fire sign, air sign, water sign. doesn't have to be. But someone's, somebody is reaching out to you. I'm not sure if they're going to actually call you, um, connect, connect with you online or, you know, in a, a, a way that they can, okay? Um, I do see somebody trying to see if they can get back into your life, Taurus, okay? Pisces season, don't be surprised if people pop back into your life um i'm gonna see what else comes out i'm intrigued because it's very clear to me that the world the prince of wands which is a, normally the knight of wands the nine of swords and the ace of cups it makes me feel like somebody is coming back around somebody who you kind of you like yeah that is done or there's so i don't know let me ask why they're coming back around why is this person coming back around the queen of cups they still love you guys they still love you. For some of you guys, it could be you, you know, um, re re reconciling with this person. So some of you guys, it'll be you reaching out. Some of you guys, it'll be them reaching out, okay? The tower. Ooh, this hurt. And I've been saying this for about a year now. Because obviously everyone goes through things at different in different timelines. Someone true, and obviously <clears throat> you'll know, you know your person better than I do, Taurus. This person really did love you. Whoever this is, the Queen of Cups and the Tower, it's like it turned their world upside down. They haven't had much peace. I feel like this person has probably tried to move on, probably tried to live their life. You know, they can't just pause and, you know, not do nothing, sit in bed all day like the Nine of Swords. Why else are they coming around? I, I, the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to be real with you. I really feel like it's your energy, the love that you gave, the care. Now, for me personally, also the Empress, okay? The Queen of Cups, the, the Queen of Pentacles are the most affectionate queens for me. Affectionate, caring, understanding, patient, Okay? that kind of energy grounding. So some of you guys, you may have grounded this person more than you know, or your energy did. It's it's your aura, it's your energy that they are really missing, okay? What do they hope for, um, for, for uh, with Taurus? What are their hopes with Taurus? Rebirth. Hold on. The four of wands and the four of swords. This person, one more, please. Okay. You live in their, in their head rent free. Let me show you this card. Four of swords. Look at him. Look how he's there contemplating, thinking, reflecting. What's the next step? What's the next move? How do I go about this? Very much analysing the situation. What's the best step to move forward? Clearly, they're not... Ha that's not somebody who's content. That's not somebody who's happy. Nine of Cups now, that's a different story. But this is the Four of Swords. Look how they are. 
I'm going to actually look at that, yeah? Now, this person, the, the, de the, um, the devil also come out as well, here. The star, I'm telling you, this person's put you in a pedestal. So, I feel like this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer reading, but some of you guys clearly need to know because don't be surprised. And now, it may not be this week. It could be, it can kind of go over to the next week, okay? Everyone's got free will and sometimes the timelines are different. You may see this in a week's time or 10 days time or two weeks time and think, oh God, that happened two days ago. So it will happen differently for all of you guys. But yeah, this person has a lot of admiration for you, a lot of love for you. And I feel like this, this time apart, now, whether this time apart, whether, you, whether you're in a relationship with this person right now and you haven't spoken and you kind of had an argument and you, sp and you haven't spoken in three, four days, and obviously, if you're speak, if you're with somebody and you're speaking to them often, that could be like a long time for you guys. For some of you guys, it's weeks, months. Okay, could be longer than that. Could be somebody from way back. Yeah, like years. But you all know who this person is. You'll know. I'm hearing it's between two. For some of you guys, it's between two people. So it could have been somebody that you split up with fairly recently, and the person before. Let's, let's see. Um, how will Taurus feel if this, if this person comes back around? The strength. Ooh. You're, you, you, the thing is, this person, I'm not sure. I feel like when they, if they do get a chance to speak with you, Taurus, they will want to see where you are uh, emotionally, mentally, how you are doing, okay? Are you still working at that job? How's your business doing? You know, things like that. But it's also, you remember, the strength is it and the tower's on top and you will remember what you actually experienced. Of course you will. You will remember how you felt um, during the last encounter, last conversation you had with this person. And you're going to, you're going to, ah, thank you. Boundaries, protection. That's you setting up your boundaries again. So I do see a lot of things. And I don't feel like it's just with that person. It's just in different areas in your life, okay? Not standing for certain things, all right? You're not going to exactly be in the Queen of Cups energy when you see this person, nor will you be in the Queen of Swords energy. So you're not going to be over love, overly lovey-dovey, nor, nor are you going to be completely um, cold and cutthroat with this person. I do feel like, for the majority of you, you will be civil. I do feel like you will be civil. It's going to show a lot about your character. I feel like, for many of you, you will be civil, not, you're not going to be overly friendly, you're not going to be cold, you're not going to be, um, you know, immature, you know, nothing like that, you know, but I feel like you're not going to overly give and you have a lot more of uh, control over yourself in regards to this person. This is definitely someone who at some point made you very happy get excited thinking about them you know or when they were saying they were on their way and stuff like that or if they'd ring your bell call your phone okay or say hey Taurus I'm outside or what are you doing in a few hours do you want to go for a drive or do you want to go for you know and you'd get excited with that person but they did they yeah something went down between you and them and it will differ from from each one of you but there's something that's really drawing this person to you at this time and there's something about how you were, how you are as a person and how you were with them. That You know what the thing is? You know, sometimes with exes, you break up and yeah, you think of like what they put you through. Of course, they have uh, thought that as well, as I'm sure you have. But they're also thinking about all your good qualities as well. And that's what's making them. I wouldn't, that's what's making them want to come towards you. But I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they had dreams about you okay if they had dream because that normally happens but well, you know when you have a dream about somebody guys and it makes you think it makes you more attracted to this person depending on what kind of dream obviously but like let's say it's a, say, say it's a nice dream 
or something that you and this person like you had a nice day out in a dream or something like that or they done got something you know just something nice together very likely they're thinking oh my god I really miss that and I feel like it for them it's like I need to speak to Taurus I need to see Taurus you know I need to hear from Taurus You're going to be very mindful, very careful about how you go about this, okay? You're not being calculated, you're just being very uh, uh, wise, okay? The Seven of Cups. The Two of Swords, right. I believe it was your last reading, maybe the reading before. So, like I said, some of you guys have moved on and you're in a new relationship. Some of you guys have moved on and you are single. Some of you guys happily single. Some of you guys, you know, some of, some of you guys don't want a relationship right now. But I'm also getting this kind of energy of, for some of you, I'm going to have to put it in a few different ways. So say you're the person who's moved on and you're in a relationship. I'm getting like... The Seven of Cups, Two of Swords, I'm thinking they're going to stir up some kind of emotions within you, okay? And make you feel like, oh God, like, it almost feels like they're trying to get their foot back in, this person, which will definitely pull on your heartstrings and make you think, I, I, it's crazy, you actually will ask yourself if you're in the right place or with the right person right now, but I feel like because of the love that you had for this past person, it's kind of like, you know, am I making the right choice? Am I just, you know, or should I even, or even maybe even guilty about talking to this person or this person reaching out? I might shock you. I'm not sure. Let me know if this happened already. I could be speaking about something that happened yesterday. All right. <clears throat> if for the single ones, it's kind of making you feel like, okay, I'm a bit confused, especially if you have really closed the door on that and they've come back and your energy is like, yeah, I did care for you at one point. But also thinking, I know this, I have a path that I need to go down. So let's see. I want to see. Um, let me see. Let's do this. Three months from now, how will this person be towards you? Let's, let's see, okay, because I've just seen what they're thoughts are what their feelings are stuff like that what they want to do i want to see how they got how they're going to be with you three months from now so we're in march now april may june okay the king of wands they will always be attracted to you they will always be attracted to you let me tell you that all right always three of swords eight of swords Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. There's a reason some of you guys have closed this out. Okay, some of you, especially if it's been somebody that's kind of been in and out, you know, um, and you've left the door open for them to come back in okay even if you felt you haven't obviously literally opening the door to them or answering their call that's all all anything like that is keeping the door open okay is is, is allowing them access to you let me just say that uh, um, allowing them access to you okay um them calling on private number after you've blocked them and everywhere that's a bit of a different story talking to them for long periods of time on block number still access so yeah any way you look about it I feel like I don't want to be a Debbie Downer but I have to be honest I, I can't sit here and be like you know if you know the cards you know the cards yeah some of you guys you're, you're going to feel that hurt again um three of swords heartbreak disappointment okay uh probably finding out something also eight of swords feeling stuck okay feeling bound to something you know seven of pentacles is it something that you invested in yes of course 
your heart, your time, your energy, okay? Seven of Swords, someone who doesn't have the best intentions, whether they're a liar, cheater, manipulator. I'm sorry, those are the cards that come out. You just saw me pull it, you know. I have to say what I'm getting. Um, how will they feel in three months' time about Taurus? Three of Pentacles. They want you to have patience with them and work. They still want you to continue or leave the door open. Eight of Pentacles. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. P uh, Page of Swords. They, that's told, for me, that's about having access to somebody. Look, Three of Pentacles, uh, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles and the, pa uh, the Princess of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. That feels like, I want Taurus to continue work, um, um, working on this, okay? And in this, in with what I asked with the uh, Page of Pentacles, that is somebody who's patient, understanding, very, you know, very, which I feel like some of you guys really have been with this person. Eight of Pentacles to continue to work on this, okay? Put the effort in. But the Page of Swords, for the Page of Swords to come out, it feels like, at that time, in three months' time, they may not be there again. They, You may not be speaking to them again. And I'm going to be real with you, okay? Um, I'll probably post this in, in a few months' time and see how it played out. Or around that time, you may be in a similar situation to what I'm speaking about today. And, you, and so it can help you at that time. That's why you'll always see me repost certain videos, okay, guys? Because it's probably meant for you to see that at that time, okay? If, especially if I pick up certain energies in the reading Okay, I've got to remember, post this again in June. I'll do it late June, May, um, late May, June. Yeah, I feel like you'll probably see, you'll probably be reminded why you did. I feel like your guys will be in a honeymoon stage for a little while. Um, you know, excited, like excited to speak to each other. It's nice, but honestly, Taurus, I'll be real with you. The energy that I'm getting from this reading, I don't feel like you're overly invested yourself with this person. I feel like it's kind of like, eh, okay. I feel like at this point now, what you've experienced with this person, you know to set boundaries with yourself. They already, You've already told this person about your boundaries, okay? Probably um, why you guys have parted ways or no contact, however you want to put it. So go, if you do, um, I just feel like you're in a different um, state, uh, mentally, emotionally. You've seen things now for what they are. And I feel like you're not as heavily, oh, like as in love with this person as you used to. I feel like it's more love for them. But I feel like even if they, I'm going to be real with you. Even if they do pop up, if when they pop up and they were to do a little disappearing, Houdini, Houdini, Casper, Peter Pan act. It's not, it, it won't surprise you like it did in the past. Okay. So for me to say that, I feel like some of you guys might engage with fun with them. I'm just going to say fun. Okay. But adults, some of you guys may engage with fun with this person or may, may um, be friends or supportive to each other. I don't know what level of, um, of a connection or relationship you guys will have for the ones that are open to it but i'll be real with you i don't see you being overly invested as you once was so i feel that is you protecting and having boundaries within yourself your focus will be other places maybe for some of you guys other people but i feel like yourself you're more important than what once was but i feel like some of you guys it is um you are curious. Some of you guys are flattered that this person's going to come back, yeah? But attraction's the last one that I pulled. Attraction. So I'm telling you, this person will always be attracted to you. Whether, you, whether you've lost a lot of weight, put a lot of weight on, cut, ladies, cut your hair short, whatever, guys, whatever, whatever it is, yeah? Like, they still find you attractive, very attractive, okay? And I feel it's more so that your character... I feel it's, I really do feel it's your character overall. All right. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Um, thank you again for all the birthday uh, wishes. That was so sweet. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, all the information's in the description. Have an amazing week, guys, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye, guys.